Hey toy fans and welcome once again to Toy Review TV for a Lego, the Lego Movie Set Review. This is set number 70807, Metal Beards Jewel, ages 8 to 14. We do get three minifigures included in this and it does look really cool. We get Frank the Foreman, Robo Swat and Skeletron included in this set which will cost 29 99 to purchase if you live here in the UK but let's open this up, construct it and see exactly what it can do. So here it is, we do get one instruction manual and you will be pleased to know we don't get any stickers included in this set. Let's start with our three minifigures. From the left there we have Skeletron and this is one awesome cyborg looking skeleton. Uh, pretty cool, I love the headpiece on this, just the one print on that though. So the next minifigure is Frank the Foreman and here is Frank the Foreman with his work uniform on with the crash helmet as well or the bumper cap with the one face print and we have front and rear torso detailing there and the last figure is the Robo Swat figure these Robo Swat figures are pretty cool. They do show up quite often in these sets. We do get the one gun weapon there with some rear torso detail. We also get some detail to the front and the legs with the visored helmet there as well with a little bit of print on the helmet. And we do get that one face print which is very metallic. Very silver metallic as are a lot of pieces on these minifigures as they are robot characters. Now onto the main set itself. Let's start with the giant micro manager. This does come with two legs, kind of like an all-terrain vehicle from Star Wars with those legs that you can move. You can move the feet and all the legs on these, the joints will all move as you would expect. We do have these grasping claws to the front also and then if we lift the top up we have the seating area for our Robo Swat figure to sit inside and that will just close down. We also have on the sides these pieces which will fold out and these are flick missiles which will just pop down from the sides maybe easier just to push them from the side there first and then flip them down but there you go there are your flick missiles which you can just flick out as normal and you can also just flick them back up into the side of this giant micro manager when you do not want to use them anymore. You can also twist the legs at the side as well. There is lots of movement on that giant micromanager. So there you go. Let's get on to the largest part of this set now which is a Metal Beard. Metal Beard with his suit that he has made up from junk pieces because he doesn't have his body anymore but he does have the bones from his body because we have this chest in the center there and in there you can see the bones of Metal Beard's body there contained in that chest. We do have the shark as well on one of the hands which I think is great. Love that. And then we have these fingers which you can move or will move independently. We do have ball joints all around this so we have one there when we have a ball joint at the top so there's lots of movement in these arms. We have which is really cool, these cannons as well. Now these are your flick cannons, you pull the rear out and they will flick your projectile. Now your projectile is on this ship's steering wheel. At the back we have four of these grey blocks and all you have to do is pop these inside the cannon and when they are in, I hope this goes well guys, all you need to do is pull this back and then your projectile will come flying out and we have just lost part of Metal Beard's body so we should leave that to one side. We also have this large sword on the rear as well. You can pull that out when you want to do so. Metal Beard is falling to pieces here but he is just quickly put together with scrap pieces so we can excuse him 
for that we have this large sword which you can put in his hand and he will grasp that let's put this cog back in its rightful place which is there and there you can see Metalbeard's head just poking out the front which is really really cool I love that and he does have a peg leg and one working leg with a foot there but you can move both of these legs we have joints on both of them so you can move all of those let's take a look at the rear where you can see this flag piece which is sticking up with a parrot we have a parrot perched on the top of that flag but apart from all that guys this is one awesome figure very much like a steampunk uh, version of a Lego set which is very very cool steampunk seems to be very popular at the moment and we should just put that wheel back in place as Metalbeard is probably feeling a little sorry for himself because he's missing that we also have a, an anchor on the rear as well which I probably forgot to mention and when you are finished with the sword all you need to do is click that onto this piece on the rear and your sword is then back in place and ready to be snatched once again when Metalbeard will need it against the micro manager in battle but there you go that is exactly what you get with this set some really cool working parts on this mainly on metal beards suit there but we do have some awesome minifigures especially this skeleton one which i really really like well guys as always thank you very much for joining me for this lego review please do feel free to rate comment and subscribe and i hope to see you all next time here on toy review tv